宝贝和乔伊是美国肯塔基大学这一学期的新生，他们在这里学习怎么成为服务犬。Everybody on campus is just really. They love to see your dogs. They love to pet them. Professors are just great with the dogs. 学校与动保机构合作，由学生志愿担任训犬员，协助狗狗适应与人类生活，并且看看他们有没有成为服务犬的潜力。We try to really work on their obedience in public, just getting them used to going out in public, going to restaurants, class, like things that like kids would do, because these dogs normally get placed with like little kids. 这些学生除了训练狗狗之外，还要兼顾学业。I am busy. I'm a student, and I also work full time right now. I typically get my dogs at eight weeks old, and then I have them until they go to advanced training back at Fort Paws. 虽然辛苦，但一切努力是值得的。My first one, he was named Pappy. He is a service dog now. 派比现在为一名有行动障碍的小女孩服务。She could only walk on her own for about five to ten minutes at that, without having to like take breaks, and she would fall over and stuff like that. And once she got happy, she's able to walk now for hours and hours on end. 两人一共训练出六十五只服务犬，不过并不是所有受训的狗狗最终都能成为服务犬。资格不符的狗狗结训后会找人领养。民事新闻综合报道。